Well, Bruce, here you have a very different type of system. This is called aeroponics. Yeah, this is an aeroponic mm -hmm. system that you can actually grow the plants uh, on top of this system as well. So like the other systems that we've talked about, it does have a, uh, a pump in this, in this system that has a, a mist nozzle in here as well that you'd see on like a standard propagation bench. Okay, or even, uh, is this the kind you would have in the landscape as well or? You could use it as well. So this is one that we have uh, in a propagation room. And then you can also buy ones that for uh, 360 nozzles as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the idea here is that again, it's just gonna mist from the bottom and then your plants are gonna get wet and then uh, should be rooted in. And then again, you can just continue to harvest off this system. Okay. Now here again, each of these you're using the rooting cups with different types of substrate. Right. Um, any variety of substrate to hold the plants in place. Right. For the smaller plants, if it's larger and it fills up the cup, then you wouldn't have to have any kind of substrate in there. Okay. And you actually have a system here, very similar, but with that closed top, you can use it for propagation, for rooting cuttings. Right. So you see this system, probably more for, uh, set up for propagation itself. And again, you just put cuttings in here and you still have, you have that water spraying from the bottom and then you, sh you will get uh, root development at the base of these cuttings. Excellent. Um, now this is kind of a, you built it yourself. There are commercial systems available, but they're pretty expensive. Yeah, there's ones out there that, again, it depends on how many uh, cell sizes that you actually get, but it's gonna be at least uh, like two to $400 for that type of system. So I decided that I just tried building my own system here. And again, you have the, the pump, uh, the net pots. And again, you can cut out different sizes depending on what kind of plant material mm -hmm. or if it's for cuttings. And so for building it, you just started with the tubs um, and to cut the holes, you used a, a drill, just a standard household drill with one of the boring tools right. attached. Yeah, just use a hole saw. And then mm -hmm. basically it just depends on what size net pots that you use. And then you can see here that I've already drilled out uh, some of these holes and then also for cuttings they also make these uh, pieces as well and basically that'll just help hold uh, a cutting to hold it in place right and keep it upright right um, I noticed on uh, inside these you have kind of the two different size this one's all small um, but you have larger ones you also have a great diversity of plants in here not only do you have some of your house plants and even landscape plants that you've done from cutting I've seen a really big lettuce, some herbs in here. Right, we've had the tomatoes as well. Um, so yeah, definitely with the, with the coleus here, it's got lots of, lots of good roots uh, on that system. Of course, some of these plants like coleus here will uh, root easier than, than other plants, whether it's in this type of system or any kind of system. All right. Um, what are some of the lessons you learned from this? Uh, Looking at it, you could build this to be a single standalone unit, right. correct? Or as you have a series of attached units, as long as the pump's big enough to move the water through. Right. So we had some of these extra containers uh, left over from doing a container gardens. And so I thought, well, I'd just go ahead and start with these. I thought that it was going to be dark enough that you wouldn't get algae growth inside here. But actually, if we lift it up, that there is uh, mm -hmm. basically some algae in that water. So you'd want to use uh, your container. You would want it to be a little bit darker. Also, the problem with, with using these was that it would leak around this edge here. It wasn't a very good seal, but mm -hmm. you could probably uh, do some work to actually seal it up good. But if you actually have to get in here to this type of system, I didn't want to completely seal it up. Maybe but some it, weather stripping or something. <laughs> right, right. But it does leak, and so then you have to constantly water this system, uh, watch this system, and then make sure that it's not. Uh, leaking that there is enough water by oh. the pump in order to pump through this system. Right, that would make you have to add more water if it's losing it. Right, but basically you have one line coming in that, that's bringing the water in and then you have another line that's, that's bringing the water back towards that mm -hmm. first one that has the pump in it. So we still have this constant movement, right. um, aeration and uh, flow for our roots. Right, and for this type, again for the cuttings, we use some kind of lid over the top because you want a high humidity environment. All right, well thank you so much. This is really unique. Yeah, thanks.